everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here. This is a quick look at the 1994 Manta Ray. I'm still building my collection of 90s vehicles. A viewer by the name of Tyrell White sent me the box for the Manta Ray, so I figured I might as well go ahead and get a Manta Ray. Thank you, Tyrell, for sending that box. Let's go ahead and look at the box. We can see on the box we have some 90s artwork, the G.I. Joe logo here on the side, and when you can't see, that's part of the Battle Core subset. Torpedo launcher shoots and wind-up powered. So this does have some action features on it. Around on the back, we've got a photo of the Manta Ray. Uh, so let's take a quick look at the toy itself. As you can see, it has some of those bright neon colors that we got with a lot of 90s figures and vehicles. This is a unique G.I joe vehicle it is a real inflatable boat but i have to tell you it is not easy to inflate there is the air nozzle there uh, but this is actually really difficult to blow up and to seal without letting the air out it has two missiles they peg onto the side of the boat for storage but up here in front it has the missile launcher and you can slide that in uh, until it clicks there we go and it is spring loaded so it will fire it's got a little flag here in the back, and it's got a removable engine cover uh, with some engine detail. All the plastic is the same color, this neon green color, which I think is unfortunate because some different colored plastic could have added some color interest to this vehicle. There are a lot of foot pegs on the inside, but it doesn't have a seat. This is a boat that you're intended to stand up to drive, apparently. It's got a couple of joysticks here for controllers. And one additional feature, it is rubber band powered. The boat would have come with a couple rubber bands, uh, and you would loop them through these hooks and onto this propeller here, this hook on the propeller, and then wind that up. And then, of course, as the rubber band unwinds, it would spin the propeller and move the boat through the water. Rubber band powered toys have been around for a long time, so this is kind of a throwback to classic toys. The Manta Ray will eventually get a full review, but that's just a quick look at it for now. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you will join me for more G.I. Joe reviews in the future. Thank you, everyone, for watching, and I'll see you next time.